Whenever I tell a student that I think that they should use Google Docs instead of Canva for their ebook, I get a skeptical look. They want Canva because Canva ends up with this pretty output, right? And Google Docs, when you think about it, looks more like this. I totally get it. My reasons for preferring Google Docs to Canva is that I think it's a way better writing experience for you as the person creating the ebook. I also think it's a much better reading experience for the person that's going to then read your ebook. And that reading and writing experience, in my opinion, is much more important than looking cute. But just because we use Google Docs does not mean we have to go with this. And I'm gonna show you how to manipulate Google Docs so that it looks like your brand, it's gonna look cute, but it's still gonna have that nice readability that a, a Google Doc is meant for. So let's jump into Google Docs and I will show you step-by-step step exactly how to do it. Okay, here we are inside our very readable and easy to write in Google Doc, but not super cute. So we're gonna make it a lot cuter. Two things that you wanna make sure that you already know before you start this is the colors that you wanna use. So if you have a brand color palette that you use, um, have that handy. If you've got, uh, and the second thing is fonts. So if you've got your brand fonts handy, wonderful. If you don't, you can have fun playing around with um, what colors you wanna use. I have both of those handy already. I wanna show you real quick uh, a little cheat code that I have for always having uh, brand colors close by. Um, the Color Palette Studio makes this uh, extension where you can save color palettes. You can save a bunch of different ones. You can see this is this is one I made specifically for this make-believe uh, ebook uh, written completely by Ch ChatGPT. I don't know if the content of this ebook is correct, so don't go trying to plant a garden based off of it. We're just looking at this for the style, okay? Um, so Color Body by Color Palette Studio. Um, go find it. It's amazing. Uh, it's got all of the colors that I'm going to want to use right here. Um, so have your color palette handy, have your fonts handy, okay? First thing that I like to do when I am changing up these Google Docs to make them look how I want them to look is change the background color of the page. And that is super easy to do, but I think it makes a really nice impact. Um, so we're gonna go file, page setup, and I'm gonna grab my color from here. So I'm gonna just copy that um, page color. It's not gonna be a huge difference, technically. We're gonna go custom but it does make your document look more like yours and not like the same thing that everybody else uses. So you can see it's just a slightly different, darker shade of paleness. It's not white anymore. It's kind of like a pinkish orangey something. Um, so that immediately to me is like, okay, this isn't, it, do, it almost doesn't even just look like a Google Doc. Your brain is already like, wait, Google Docs have white backgrounds. This does not. Um, so that's the first super quick change that I think um, it's subtle, but I think it makes a nice impact. So that's how I always start. Second thing that we're going to do, which is going to make a much bigger impact and it's not so subtle is we're gonna work on the fonts. So we've got um, an, a title here. We've got a subtitle. We have a heading one, heading two. I'm gonna skip the image for now, but we're gonna do some work to that too. We've got our normal text and you can see these changing up here in this um, style tab. Um, we have H2s, H3s, uh, and again, our normal text. So we're gonna change each one of those to exactly what we want. Um, we're gonna change both the font itself and the size of the font. So first thing we're gonna do is this title. Ariel is boring. <laughs> Ariel is fine, but it's a little boring. So we're gonna change it. Okay, and I've already decided that for my titles and my headlines, I'm gonna use Gabriella. I chose that for two reasons, uh, a few reasons. So it's a pretty script font but it's also super readable. Like it is not difficult to read at all. And I urge you um, to look for that when you're using any type of a script font. Um, so we're gonna use that. I think it's pretty, I think it goes with the garden theme. It's also gonna pop so that when we're looking through this, um, you can see what a difference it has made. Uh, you don't have to use something quite as dramatic as this. Uh, you can definitely go with more subtle fonts too. We're gonna change the size of this to 48. Okay, I always like my titles to be centered, so we're gonna change that as well. And the other thing that I sometimes will change, um, just if it kind of stands out to me, is I will change the line and paragraph spacing. I'm gonna put that to single space. I don't, I actually, no, I'm not. I don't like it as much. I'm gonna show you what it looks like double spaced. 
Like, that's way too much for me. So if it were like that, I would say, no, I'm going to come in and go 1.15. And I like that a lot better, personally. Okay? So we're not going to look at the color of that font right now. I'm going to come back and do that after. But for now, like, we've made a big difference in our title, font, uh, style, and size. So we want to make sure that if we were to put another title in here, it's going to look just like this one. So we are going to go uh, update title, title to match. And then if I had another title, if I were going to enter another title, pretend we, you wouldn't do this. This is another title. It would have the same font. Okay. And it should also apply to anything below it that is also a title. All right. So let's look now at the subtitle. Um, what I'm, I'm okay with this size and we're gonna make it a little smaller. I'm gonna go with 12 for the size of my subtitle. Um, we are also going to center it because it's gonna be under the title. I want it to match that. And we're gonna go with um, Nunito is the is the font I'm gonna use for like the, the normal text, the body text. So I'm gonna go with that. But I do like my subtitle to be like a little bit different. Um, so we're gonna go bold and italic on that too. Okay, and we're gonna leave that for now. Just make sure that I go back here to my, my um, style guide and um, subtitle, update subtitle to match. So again, any subtitles I create after this are gonna look like that. Um, now we're on to our H1. Uh, we're gonna go with this uh, Gabriella again. Whoops, here we go. Gabriella, and we're gonna say, let's go 36 for our H1. I also want this centered and, and that looks good for now. So we're gonna go back to here and make sure we update heading one to match. Okay, so we're getting there. H2, we're gonna do Gabriella again. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do 24 um, here. And I do like, that didn't go. I do like to have my H2s left justified. So we'll leave that just as it is. Make sure we update that. Okay, move me out of the way. And so our image, the image is next. We're, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna make some changes to that too, to make it cuter. Um, we have some normal text here. We're gonna go uh, normal text. We're gonna do Nunito and we're gonna do 14, I think. We'll do 12, yeah. Um, so that's gonna be our normal text. That looks fine. Let's make sure we, now this should be the first time that we see everything update. So you can see, because I just changed the normal text in our style guide, all of the normal text changed, okay? The next heading that we have to do, and you can see all of our H2s have changed. They're all, I didn't have to go in and manually change each one. We'll do H3 next is this guy. Oh, again, Gab Gabriella. You could do Nunito here too. Um, and we're, we'll, do, we'll do 18 for that, just so it stands out a little bit more. Um, and I think, so that's all of my headings. The one thing I do wanna change, you can see, we've still got a heading four here and I like to make sure, oh, I gotta make sure I, let me go back to this because I forgot to apply this. Update H3 to match, whoops. Und there we go. This should not be an H3 though. That's, that's, that should be normal. Okay, there we go. Now all of the H3s are changed. So we've got all our H2s changed, all our H3s changed, all of our normal text is changed to what we want. Um, so these sh this should all look pretty uniform at this point. It does, it looks better, right? We're getting somewhere. Now um, I like to have a little bit of color in here. So we're gonna go back and just do some color changes um, to each to some of these fonts too. We don't wanna go crazy with color. Uh, I mean, I do wanna go crazy with color, but I know I shouldn't. Um, so we're just gonna do a little bit, a, a few small changes to a couple of fonts just to add a little color. So for our um, title, I'm gonna make the font color, let me go back to my color buddy. We're gonna use this one, this dark green and change that, we'll go custom and change that hex to there. All right, this is supposed to be, oh, there we go, it is title, okay. All right, that looks good. Now, the subtitle, I think I'm gonna go with this pink. You don't have to do, like, I love bright, crazy colors. This is not for everybody. So you choose your colors uh, as you will. So custom, again, paste that in. Okay, so now we have a little bit more color. Now, I don't like my title and subtitle on the same page as like where my content is gonna start. So the other thing that I'm gonna do here is insert a page break. There we go. So now I have this and I have my subtitle and I can add an image in here. So let's do that. 
We're still not gonna do anything to this image. I'm just gonna add something. Uh, besides center it, oh, it is centered, and make it a little bit smaller so that it fits on the first page. Okay, so there's a beginning page for us, okay? You might wanna, you can use that as a cover. You might wanna make your cover page in Canva. That's something I'm totally okay with, but just add that into the PDF after. All right, so we have our title is a pretty dark green. Our subtitle is this pretty pinkish color. H1, we'll leave uh, for now. Um, H2, we're gonna leave. I think what I'm gonna change are my H3s. And I'm gonna also change this color to that pretty pink. Um, you know what I forgot to do is save it up here. So title, we wanna make sure, we, we wanna update that so that all of our titles will be this dark green. So update title to match. Not that we're gonna have another title in here, but just so that you get in the habit of it. Same thing with the subtitle. Update subtitle to match. So now any subsequent subtitles will be that color. And, and now I was changing H3. So I want to make sure I go in and H3, update H3 to match. And you'll see all of my H3s have now changed. You might not like having that pink. I get it. I personally do like it, uh, but just keep them, you know, do what you, what colors you like and what are gonna be not terrible for your people to look at. But the reason that I like to take something like the H3 and give it a different color or give it something different is because um, I want these things to stand out. And so making them another color helps me to do that. All right, um, so we're down to H3. Now I wanna add one more thing. There is another, there's H4 is here, okay? So I'm gonna just pick something to make believe is gonna be an H4. Um, we'll say, I'm gonna take this line. Here are some ideas, okay? And I'm going to pretend that I wanna highlight this uh, heading, okay? So we're gonna go, not there, we're gonna go heading and uh, we're doing a highlight cost color. I wanna do custom. I'm gonna go back to my color buddy. I'm gonna use this one and okay. Uh, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. I'm gonna go back to color buddy. I copied the wrong one. We're gonna copy the yellow. We're gonna go to highlight color. We're gonna go custom. I'm gonna change, there we go. We're gonna change that. So now if I have a heading that I want, if I have a piece of text, a full line that I want to be highlighted, um, I can do, we're gonna go back to normal text and we're gonna make this update heading four to match. So now our heading four is not very much different from our normal text, except that it's highlighted. Now you can't do really like just a piece of this. It's gonna highlight the whole line, but it's again, another way of like differentiating a line of text within your within your document so that it's gonna stand out to people. If you want, if you don't want it to be the whole, the whole line, you're just gonna highlight as normal and you've got that color. So if I just wanted that word highlighted, you can do that too. But if you wanna have that as one of your headings, you can totally have that option. So we can see we've got some nice color. We've got color here. We've got different sizes of fonts and styles of fonts. We've got more color. Um, it's coming along, it's getting there. The next thing that I wanna look at is how to make these images like not just like completely boring square boxes or rectangle boxes. So we're going to do some image options. Um, I'm gonna do uh, a border and I'm gonna do a three point border and I'm going to do, um, I need a color from here again. I'm gonna do this like peachy color, copy that and change the border color right here. Uh, again, custom, and then just paste that hex code in. All right, and now now this we can't just apply, so we have to go in and change each image. Um, but again, it's border three point and that color there. So, okay, we're getting somewhere. One thing that I do like to change is sometimes black font is a little bit much on the eyes. Um, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna highlight my heading one here and I'm gonna go gray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have the heading one gray, okay? So make sure I remember to update to match. I'm gonna do the same color for my headings two. Make sure I update those to match. Let me find a three. Um, three, we're gonna keep pink, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, the only other thing, we're gonna do the body is going to be gr that dark gray as well. Make sure we update that to match. And then actually that looks, let's see, that's the dark gray. Okay, so 
to me that's like a tiny bit easier on your eyes i like the way that the headings aren't so like aggressively dark and um, i think this all is looking really nice we are going to add we're going to look at i have a table in here i made sure that chat gpt added a table to this we're going to change this a little bit too let's see we're going to make these lines let's make them that dark green and we can change the whoops we can change the fill color in here too so that it is we'll make it white oh, that didn't work let's do it again I made it the same color as the background let's actually make that white okay so now our table is a little bit different too but everything is looking much more branded much more colorful and pretty and cute um, but it still is so easy to read it's still in a format that people are comfortable reading um, a couple more things that we can add to this are we're going to add um, a header and a footer so let's work on that um, our options we're going to do page numbers i like to do my page numbers at the top uh, we're going to not show on the first page because I'm going to call this a, a cover page. So we're going to start at um, and we're going to start at one instead of zero or wherever. Okay, good. So now we have some. Now we have page numbers. I do not like page numbers left or right. I want them centered. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to make them actually a little bit smaller. We'll go like ten um, on our page numbers, and we can also do a footer. And um, let's say I just wanted to do. Oops, let's say I just want to put in the website. Okay, we can do that. We'll center that. Good. We're going to save this as a um, PDF, so I'm not going to worry about linking it, but that's there. So now we've got a sort of a cover page. Again, you don't have to use it as a cover page. You can use that as your, um, you can use a Canva cover page if you want for your first page. Um, and then we've got a header and a footer with our page numbers and our website looking good the last thing that i really like and i think makes it really come together is adding in a table of contents so we are going to insert table of contents i'm going to do like that and i do like to have a title here so i'm going to do table of contents and you can change some of the formatting on your on your table of contents if you want to but i like how this has come out so but we can go to more options um, and like we could make it like that make it like that so that it's linkable i don't like how that looks personally to me this is like the nicest looking so i'm going to keep that uh, but you can play around with that too so we went from that very boring um, but easy to read uh, ebook to a much more attractive uh, in my opinion ebook that is still very easy to read and if I were ready to actually like set this up to, you know, for people to get, all you have to do is file, oh, I'm going to give it a name, um, ChatGPT Grows a Garden, file and download as PDF. And that's it. You're done. Let's see what it looks like as a PDF. There it is. Go Get out of the way. Um, so definitely not your traditional boring Google Doc anymore, is it? So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I would love to answer them. If you want to hear more about the Odd Noodle way of doing business with digital products, go to the link in my profile. It's a completely free course. You don't even have to put in your email address if you don't want to um, and see what you think. See ya.